Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So I'm having an interesting time in my life right now. Um, I had a super long day. I'm so tired so I can barely talk. One second. I'm gonna take my braces out. Okay, so first things first, I got my new braces. You guys know I finished all the braces they had given me and my teeth are still crooked so I needed new ones and then I lost my very last set in Mexico while I was waiting for these ones and I was worried my teeth had moved so much that they weren't going to fit but you guys they fit it was great for now anyways um so they've been kind of making my mouth bleed a lot today though um because my mouth isn't used to wearing them but luckily with the mask you can't tell anyways I'm in Phoenix and we're back. Oops. <laughs> Tripod. Um, slowly but surely getting my life together. So now I gotta plug this guy in. There's actually plugs on this table. Awesome. Um, okay, so I got to Phoenix. I'm in Phoenix. And today was such a long day. I had three flights, which is a lot. But they also, I went Tampa, Miami, short flight. Miami to Cancun, pretty short flight. Cancun to Phoenix, four hour flight. So it, you know, with all the turnarounds in between and the cleaning and the customs, it was a long day. Then I got to my hotel, they gave us our room keys, went to my room, it was still dirty. So I had to go all the way back downstairs, get a new room, get to that new room, and guess what? It was dirty. <laughs> so tired, cranky Samantha was trying to hold it together. It's, you know, people make mistakes, so I try to keep that in mind, and what was I gonna do, yell at her? That wasn't gonna solve my problem. So, got a new room, the new room was clean. So we are in our new room. Um, I plan to work out tonight, but it's only 4.30, but I have been up. So Phoenix time is two hours behind my Tampa time. So I've been up since 1.20 in the morning. Phoenix time is 4.20. Or 4.30. Um, so I'm dead tired. <laughs> And starving I'm trying to eat healthy after Milan and because I'm going to Greece next month and I think you know I'm trying to save money by not eating out number one number two I'm just trying to eat healthier um so I went to the grocery store I went to fries and I was just gonna show you what I got because it's the most random combination I'm so tired and delusional and starving and do you guys ever go to the grocery store when you're starving hopefully this will be like a relatable moment and not like a Oh my god, I knew she was weird, but like I didn't know she was this weird type of moment. So we'll see. Also, I still need to go to Walgreens. Maybe I'll go tomorrow morning. <sighs> oh my gosh, okay. Thought for a different day. I got these, my favorite soups. This isn't my favorite flavor, but these are the only ones that they had. The miso ramen and the regular ramen. I got four of them because I'm gonna eat some on my flight tomorrow because I do Phoenix back to JFK tomorrow, so it's a long day. Okay, and what else did I get? Pickles, because I love pickles. Actually, let me eat one right now. Is it just me or that didn't pop? What is happening to you today? I'm still gonna eat one. Do you think I'm gonna die? Like, did someone poison these? Pickles don't go bad, I don't think, right? Mm. Kind of hurts to bite down. My teeth are a little sore from my braces. Did I turn my manual focus on or off? <laughs> I felt like it was not being able to focus on me before. Okay, this is autofocus, so I don't know. We'll see. Okay, well, hopefully no one plays in those. I just ate them. I got refried beans because I wanted oil-free hummus and bell peppers, but they didn't have oil-free hummus. But you guys, I didn't realize that uh, refried beans had lard in them. So, like... I wanted low fat or fat free refried beans and in my mind they were all going to be like low fat because I thought refried beans was just like cooked beans like mashed but they I was reading the ingredients and they like all had lard in them <clears throat> or tons of oil 
And so I was like, oh my gosh, I wonder how many times I've eaten refried beans at somebody's house or like at a restaurant and didn't realize. I don't know. I'm sure I have and ate lard and didn't even know it. Now I know, but I never buy refried beans on my own. So, uh, but yeah, the ingredients in this one are cooked pinto beans, water, salt, vinegar, spices, garlic powder, onion powder, chili pepper, not even citric acid and no natural flavors. So... We'll see if it tastes any good, but I actually had to buy a can opener because <laughs> I wasn't going to be able to open the can. Hopefully I can open the can opener because it has like these zip ties on it and I don't have a scissors. Um, I also got <laughs> jalapeno lime sauerkraut. <laughs> why am I, why am I like this? Everything's pickled too. Oh, I'm like having, going through a pickling phase. Also because vinegar is fat free. So a lot of fat free stuff has that. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I'm a hot mess. So. Then I've got some bell peppers, just red and orange because they were on sale. Salad in a bag because I need some greens. I don't know, I got this fat free skinny girl, whatever. It's not the best ingredients, I'm gonna be honest, but I just wanted to try it. So I don't like recommend it. There's a lot of, I think there's some preservatives in it, I don't know. I get the Bragg's like apple cider vinegar, vinaigrette or something usually. The ingredients are pretty plain. And then I got some peaches. I gotta go wash them. I don't think they're all ripe enough to eat, but oh my god, so good. What kind of logic is that? It doesn't matter. This isn't about that. I told you, I just need some. I was lucky enough to go to college. Trust me, this is very normal. No, you're not quitting Yale. Yes, I am. You're acting incredibly immature, and I know it's because you're hurt, but you've got to get a grip. This is weird my whole life. Okay, fine, then go to Harvard. That's cool. I don't want to go to Harvard. Then go to Princeton or Stanford or Columbia. Watching Gilmore Girls? while I eat. Oh my gosh, okay, there's quite a few seeds in here. Am I making a mess on the table? Yes. Do I always clean up after myself in hotels? Yes. I'm gonna lie, it's not bad. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. This is good. If you had a little tortilla, Tortilla. Wrap it up in there. Mm hmm. I mean, it's not better than oil free hummus, but it's good. Mm. Okay. I want to try it <laughs> with the weird jalapeno sauerkraut I got. I might not like the sauerkraut, but I'm going through a sauerkraut and kimchi phase. I blame Isabel Page because her food always looks so good and I don't ferment my own stuff but I was like oh I want to get on that train now I'm obsessed hmm oh that's jalapeno If Antonio was here, she would make fun of me for what I just did. For sure. Okay. Can't decide if I like that or not. We're gonna mix it all together. I don't have any silverware, so I'm using my hands here. Put a little refried bean action <laughs> on the bell pepper. We're gonna put a little. <laughs> I don't know why I'm single, you know? I'm like, hi, every man's dream. Mmm. 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 It's actually really good. Surprisingly good. This is good combined with this stuff. 
the flavors mesh nicely. Oh my gosh, well this is what I'm gonna eat. And I'm gonna eat salad in a bag. In my bed, probably. Keep watching Gilmore Girls. Rory just told her mom that she's not going back to Yale. But I think I actually might start over at episode one. I like the beginning seasons better. Do you guys watch Gilmore Girls? Love it, it's one of my favorite shows. <laughs> Hello! This looks like it's a continuation of the last thing I filmed, but it is not. It's actually the next day, and the camera is still set up in the same spot. So I'm also wearing the same uh, jumpsuit because it is the only clean thing I have, and they don't have guest laundry here. So I couldn't wash my clothes. I walked to the Starbucks and I walked to the CVS um, because I needed pantyhose because I ripped mine yesterday really, really bad and they were my they were my spare pair, so I needed some new ones. Okay, the most awkward thing just happened to me. So, as you guys know, I'm single and I eventually would like to start dating again. And I just saw somebody who was, I just bought this for my braces because I didn't have a case. I lost mine a long time ago. And I needed something to put my braces in so they weren't just like laying around. Anyways, um, I feel like I'm ready to start going on dates again. Or I'm ready, like I want to start going on dates. I don't know. Anyways, I'm so awkward. And I just saw somebody in the lobby of my hotel that I was like, Oh my god, that's the love of my life. Like he was tall, attractive, and I overheard him telling the lobby lady, the guest service lady, that he has a podcast. Like I think he wanted to like ask her quite I don't know. And I was like, oh my god, this guy. And I was too scared to say anything to him. And I let that opportunity pass by. He's probably not single. He was very attractive. Like very attractive so I'm sure he's not single but anyways then I kind of had this realization that I'm gonna be single forever because I'm such a chicken that I can't uh, talk to anybody but it is 7 53 in the morning I have to head down to the gym in a minute but I wanted to show you guys what I got at CVS I went kind of crazy because I've been procrastinating on buying stuff because I'm always trying not to spend money always but there are just some things I needed. I needed an everyday face oil and I just have not been getting one. I finally got a moisturizer. I also have been needing an SPF for my face, but their skincare is expensive, okay? Like it is. Skincare is just, you're gonna spend a lot. And the ones that are inexpensive are still expensive. So like an expensive product might be over $100. 100 plus, it can be like over $200. Um, I couldn't spend that much, uh, but the cheaper products are still like $25, which yes, I realize saying that out loud, it's not a lot of money, but, but when you have no money, that's a lot of money, right? So anyways, I'm just going to show you what I got. Pantyhose. <laughs> I think I only got one pair because I have a ton at home, at home in my van. Maybe it's two. No, it's just one. Um, but so I didn't want to buy a ton because I have a bunch, but I unpacked them when I went to Milan. I forgot to put them back in. So these actually are not, it says sheer. They don't look sheer. So these are not ones I would probably wear again, but I only have one flight today, so they shall do. I got a Yerba Mate, which I've never had before, but I got it because I watched Jaylena with Isaac from Schooliana on there. Um, they're live last night and he was drinking a Yerba Mate and I just thought it would be funny to get it. And so you guys, we need to get Isaac from Schooliana sponsored by Yerba Mate. So we all have to like get Yerba Mates, tag them on Instagram. Let's get them sponsored if we can. I think that would be the greatest accomplishment of my life. Um, okay, other things I got. Tanning mitt, Bondi Sands. This is my favorite tanning mitt so far. I always get them at like CVS or Walgreens. Um, but the reason I like this one is there's no thumb thing because when I'm doing my sunless tan, I'm constantly switching hands to do like the other side and whatever. So the one with the thumb in it is like 
uh, you have to use both sides of the mitt and I like just using one side so if that makes sense this one it yeah I hope that makes sense but anyways I prefer the ones with no thumb this one's real nice love it it's like $5.99 or something I've never tried this Let's see if we can get it to focus um, this is also Bondi Sands I've not tried this particular one they have many different ones I always use the darkest of anything because as soon as you shower, it's significantly lighter and I like it to last as long as possible. So this one is aerated self tanning foam, <sighs> ultra dark, quick dry formula, intense hydration, coconut scent. Let's see, let's put it on here. Oops, it's always focused on my face. Okay, okay. Well, I'm not gonna use it right now. It does smell good. It smells like a freaking beach. Oh, I'm like, I wanna go to the ocean so bad right now. I also got this Tanologist Face and Body Drops because it's a little teeny travel size and it was in the checkout area and it was like $2.99. They, they make bigger bottles. This is like, I think just a little sample that they sell but i wanted to try it tanologist is a sunless tan brand made by an influencer from instagram i don't know i can't remember who but i've used it it's clear and so it goes on clear and it's a very good tanning product i actually really really like it like bondi sands and tanologist are my two go-to's and you can get them at pretty much any drugstore target everything why is this wet um, but I thought maybe I'll try this in between like full body tans just on my face. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it says face and body. Add one to 12 drops to your favorite moisturizer. Mix together and apply to skin. More drops equals deeper tan. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm going to try it. It was $2.99. Love the brand. Love the product. Okay, so this is the SPF that I got. Pacifica, it was like $12, which is a lot cheaper than the other SPFs I was like looking at at Ulta and stuff. So it's like a pretty good size. Um, I only got it really for my face. And I think this one, it says Sun Plus Skin Care, SPF 30 Mineral Bronzing Face Shade. So I'm pretty sure it's meant for your face. 100% vegan and cruelty free. Their stuff usually smells really good too. Oh, it has like a, let's see. It's like a tint. Hmm, not sure how I feel about it being tinted. Um, well, it's actually like kind of a perfect color. <laughs> oh, we're blurry, we're blurry. Okay, wow. Yeah, it's actually really nice. Okay, it's actually really nice. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna put this on my face just cause I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'm gonna wash my face anyway. So if I hate it, I just wanna see what it looks like because it's tinted. So like when you're having a beach day, is it gonna make your face look like got a little tinted moisturizer? Okay, it's drying, it's tacky. I can tell this is gonna be amazing under makeup cause it's sticky. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, now my face is going to be red because I touched it. But let's just, let's just see how this fares out. Um, smells good. Free of chemical UV absorbers. And it's 1.7 ounces, which means you can take it on an airplane. Okay. Yeah, wow. I mean, it doesn't look like makeup necessarily, but yeah, it looks good. Okay. 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 Love when things work out like that. Um, should we crack open our Yerba Mate? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, first of all, I got Blue Foria. It literally tastes like Blue Foria. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Where's my phone? I need to put this on Instagram real quick and tag Schooliata. 
<laughs> okay, Instagram post done. <laughs> um, okay, what else do we got here? So this is the, oh, you know what? I should have went in a different order, but that's fine. They had this brand, Bliss, which I feel like I've seen at like day spas and stuff. Like in Vegas, at one of the hotels, don't they have a spa and they use all Bliss products? I feel like that's where I know this from. Um, but this was, this was the most expensive thing I got. It was like $28. But it says, this vegan spa grade ser serum Features our highest concentration of ultra stable vitamin C and tried pepticide to brighten, help diminish the look of dark spots and visibly firm skin. So I don't have dark spots, but um, I've used a vitamin C serum before, but not like a nice one. And I did like it. And I always see, you know, people using it, whatever. I just wanted an everyday serum, to be honest. And I couldn't afford the ones that I had been getting uh, were so expensive over a hundred dollars um like over 150 dollars so this was 28 dollars it was definitely within my price range vegan and cruelty free free of parabens phthalates <laughs> what p-h-t-h-a-l-a-t-e-s phthalates <laughs> how do you say that oh my gosh sls s-l-e-s and more whatever that means Massage on to clean, dry skin, morning and night. Maybe you can be used with moisturizer and eye cream layers perfectly under moisturizer and makeup avoid eye area. Okay, well, that's cool. And how big is it? I forgot to look at the size. One ounce, yay. So travel size, that's a plus. Eyelashes. Since I've been wearing eyelashes a lot, I've been pulling out my natural eyelashes with the eyelash glue. So it's like a catch 22. The more you wear them, the more you need them. I use a lot of eyelash glue too because I don't want them to fall off, so it's probably my fault. But I pretty much get different ones every time, but I get something along the uh, wispy effect. These ones are pretty long, but I like them when they're shorter. Excuse me, in the corner. We're gonna try that. And last but not least, if you've noticed in my Instagram and some of my videos, I don't have my nails done right now, and they've been looking really, really bad. But the truth is that they've been so damaged. I've been having a really hard time, so I always do my own gels, but I have a hard time getting the gel off. Um, I do everything I'm supposed to. I've tried several different techniques, and it just, I feel like my nails are always more damaged after. And so I stopped, um, the last time I took my gel off, I just felt like, whoa, I need to take a break, let my nails heal, but they're looking so bad. And when I'm doing like the safety demo and stuff at work, and just in general, I'm embarrassed by them. So I bought these, um, which you've seen me wear before. I get a lot of compliments on them. These are the medium length. Short is too short. I have long nail beds, so the short ones look weird. But the key is to get the one with like this picture because the tip is thicker. And so they don't chip or break as easily as other um, press-ons or glue-ons. They're always called press-ons, but like you glue them on, so I don't get that. But anyway, so I'm going to put these on before work today, which hopefully I have time. I have to get to the gym or I'm not going to have time for anything. If I don't put these on today, I'll just do them like after I get back, but let me just show. So this, oh, is it focusing? Yeah, this is what it will look like, something like this. Just pretty, just a little French. Just a little bit of Frenchy. Um, cool. That's all I got. It was really freaking expensive, though. Um, but it's cheaper here than in New York, so... Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I'm very caffeinated right now. I have this iced coffee, and I don't get the cold brew, I get just regular iced coffee because cold brew is like way too much for me. The little bit of oat milk and all the ice melted, so it was a little watered down, which I don't mind. I actually kind of like when that happens. But I just realized there's caffeine in this, so right now I'm feeling like talking very, very quickly. So I need to change I feel like I should have shaken it, maybe. <laughs> it was a very strong flavor. There was some